have to ask about AI created art. Um, how do you foresee like Dolly changing the art world? Not at Whether all. Whether it's making, displaying, selling, reselling. Not at all. I, really? I, I think, I think again, it's going to wind up being used as a medium. It's not going to be a, a, sure. a, a creator, you know, Dolly is not going to rule the art experience. It, artists aren't going to just give up because Dolly exists. Um, I think Dolly is cool because artists are giving it interesting prompts, you know? Um, and yeah. I have, I have a, a good friend who's gotten access to the, the actual Dolly now and they get 50 searches a day and we're all trying to petition her to, uh, request the weirdest thing possible. Right. I've got uh, one more week till I have access. I'm so excited. Oh, cool. <laughs> You're going to get access. Yes. As an artist, I'm allowed to get on the wait list and do an onboarding. Super cool. I'm very jealous. Um, but I've been, I've been playing with Dolly mini and just putting in really absurd. Oh my God. <laughs> So bad. It's bad. Yeah, it's bad. So um, bad. I think what what is much more compelling ultimately than AI created art um, is procedurally generated art. I think that that generative art is really astoundingly good sometimes. Um, and what Art Blocks has done to promote that that um, genre of NFT based art. And and digital art, it, it's it's brilliant. I mean, there. I think that Tyler Hobbs Fidenza um, is one of the most beautiful bodies of of art in the 21st century. I think uh, Dimitri Cherniak's Ringers is um, spectacular. So, I think that's probably going to be the dominant uh, cheat code, as it were, for artists in the 21st century. Not not AI. And they have to do more work with with generative art. You have to know how to how to turn your your vision into code, and that's mm -hmm. that's like alchemy. <laughs>